These semiconductor companies are investing in research and development for an innovation edge. These are the best semiconductor stocks to buy and hold. Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing The innovation edge and emerging segments will be growth drivers. Hugh ALC of OM Incorporated High investment in research and development and focus on the automotive sector likely to drive growth. Nordic Semiconductor The launch of new products will be a growth catalyst and encouraging numbers from the healthcare segment. Let's dive in. Here are the three most undervalued semiconductor stocks to buy in September 2023. Welcome to Timely Investment Research. Last year, McKinsey released a report that talked about the importance of the semiconductor industry across businesses. According to the same report, the industry was worth $590 billion in 2021. The industry size is however expected to swell to $1 trillion by 2030. This is an indication of the impending growth and McKinsey rightly points out that it's the semiconductor decade. It goes without saying that some of the best semiconductor stocks will create immense value until 2030. While the industry talents are positive, semiconductor stocks have been subdued. From a valuation perspective, this might be one of the best times to consider exposure to quality stocks. Going forward automotive, healthcare, and high-performance computing sectors will drive growth for the semiconductor industry. It's worth mentioning here that the semiconductor supply shortage is likely to ease in 2023. The outlook for the next year and beyond is optimistic. Valuations will therefore adjust on the upside. Let's discuss the reasons to be bullish on the following semiconductor stocks. Number 1. Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing is among the undervalued semiconductor stocks to buy. Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing stock trades at an attractive forward price earnings ratio of 18.4 and offers a dividend yield of 1.94%. A big reason to like Taiwan Semiconductor is innovation. To put things into perspective, Taiwan Semiconductor and 10 of its customers invest more in R&D than the top two semiconductor integrated device manufacturers combined. To elaborate further on the technology edge, the company defines advanced technologies as 7 nanometer and more. For second quarter 2023, the company derived 53% of revenue from advanced technologies. It's also worth noting that the company's market is well diversified. For second quarter 2023, Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing derived 77% of revenue from the high-performance computing and smartphone segment. However, some potentially big upcoming segments include IoT and automobiles. These emerging segments can be potential growth drivers in the next few years. Number 2. Qualcomm It's worth noting that Qualcomm stock has remained sideways to lower in the last 12 months. I believe a breakout on the upside is likely after the current consolidation. My view is underscored by the point that Qualcomm stock trades at an attractive forward price earnings ratio of 13.6. Additionally, the stock has a robust dividend yield of 2.84%. For third quarter 2023, Qualcomm reported revenue of $8.5 billion, which was higher than the midpoint of the guidance range. While the handset segment was the key revenue driver, Qualcomm has significant traction in the automotive and IoT segments. The automotive segment reported revenue growth for the last quarter. Further, in third quarter, the company secured more than 10 design wins with automakers for next-generation digital cockpit and telematics systems. It's worth noting that for the first nine months of the financial year, Qualcomm has reported $6.7 billion in research and development expenses. With high investment in innovation, the decline in revenue is likely to be arrested. Number 3. Nordic Semiconductor Nordic Semiconductor is another name among undervalued semiconductor stocks to buy and hold. In the last 12 months, Nordic Semiconductor stock has declined by 21% and I see this as a good accumulation opportunity. If I had to pinpoint the single biggest opportunity for Nordic, it would be as follows. For second quarter 2023, Nordic reported cellular I.O. to revenue of just $3 million. I expect significant headroom for growth in this segment. The company claims to be the first cellular IoT solutions provider encompassing hardware, software, tools, and cloud services. Further, during second quarter 2023, Nordic launched new customer products for the industrial, healthcare, and wearable segment. The aggressive launch of new products is likely to be a growth catalyst. This is particularly true for the healthcare and wearable device segment. To put things into perspective, the company revenue from the healthcare segment has increased to $34.5 million 
in second quarter 2023. This implies a growth of just over 100% on a year-on-year -year basis. Thanks for spending some time with us today, Timely Investment Research. We're so glad you did. If you found value in today's video, please give us a like, hit that bell icon to never miss an upload, and hey don't forget to subscribe.